In other news, a study has shown that young children exposed to screen time before two years old show changes in brain development linked later to slower decision-making and anxiety. This is according to new research by the Agency for Science, Technology and Research, or ASTAR, and the National University of Singapore. The report tracked the same children over more than a decade, with brain imaging done at different points. Mohamed Bahajaj with more. In the study, some children had screen time between 0 and 8 hours daily before the age of 2. The average was nearly 2 hours a day. Researchers followed about 170 children and conducted brain scans as they grew up. For those exposed to screen time too early, it was found that areas for visual processing and cognition developed faster than usual, before other parts of the brain responsible for complex thinking could catch up. The infant's brain doubles in size in the first year and grows to 80% of adult size by age 3. So this period is really rapid, the growth is really rapid and so that's why it's really sensitive to external stimuli. And so like exposing them to screen time could like alter the development and can have a very long lasting impact. When they were eight and a half, affected children took roughly 25% longer to make a decision for every additional hour of screen time. In turn, at 13, they also reported higher anxiety symptoms. Yeah. Researchers suggest instead more physical time with parents during infancy, such as playing outdoors, music or reading. During these early years, these young brains start to learn how the world around them works. What screen doesn't do is that, yes, they are really engaging, they provide a lot of visual stimulation, and they do grab a lot of these young kids' attention. But what it really doesn't provide is the good mix of touch, movement, back and forth communication, and these are really important elements for the development of the young brain. One parent says in this digital age, better physical machines and robotic toys could be the go-to instead of screens. I think for a zero to two-year-old, I don't think screens are the answer. I feel the tactile nature of things is just very, very underrated, right? Like, can you, if you give a child a, a table with a pile of sand, Right, they'll naturally play with it. And, and I feel that's how we should do things. And anything that we do with tech, should have a certain element of like mechanical, tactile feel to it. Because I feel that's just so critical for child's development. The A-STAR team says the study for the research group will go into adulthood. For example, it will evaluate if the anxiety and slower decision-making symptoms persist.